Hey, this is Samantha here at RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you how to cook Instant Pot Spaghetti Squash. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. So these spaghetti squash was something I'd always wanted to try, especially when I followed paleo and the whole 30 and they wasn't available when we lived in Portugal. So I was over the moon last year when it was pumpkin season, when I managed to find two different farmers that would supply me with these babies. And I went back to one of the farmers uh, recently and said, can you do me some more? And he gave me loads of them. So the easiest way to cook them, of course, is in the Instant Pot. And I just want to show you a very simple method for doing so. So you'll need spaghetti squash, your trivet, and enough water for your Instant Pot to go to pressure. So we're adding in to our Instant Pot. Um, one cup for the smaller instant pots, we're using the 8 quart, so to be uh, safe rather than sorry, we're adding 2 cups of water, which is the same as 480ml. And then you want to place your trivet in. I always use the trivet with handles because then when you're taking it out, it's in and out like that and it's just perfect. So then grab your spaghetti squash, sit it on the trivet and now you're actually ready for fresher cooking. I mean, isn't that a simple idea? So then, lid on, make sure you set to ceiling and then you're looking for the pressure cook button and then then you want to set the time to just 10 minutes and then press start and then note with instant pot spaghetti squash you want a full natural pressure release so that means you just leave it on until it's completely released its pressure. So now Dominic's uh, released the pressure and we're now going to get the spaghetti squash out. I don't know how it's going to go because it's much smaller than the last one that we did in there. So it'd be interesting to see how well it comes together. And then of course, use those handles to remove the spaghetti squash from the instant pot. It makes your life so much easier. And then Chef, chef hands there doesn't care but if, if you wanted to you could use a tea towel or something to actually remove it uh, from the instant pot and then you want to slice it in half once you've got the end off so that it's like how you slice a melon yeah too hot and then chef's trick there is that you chopped your end off so that you can slice it in half um, stood up it just makes it so much easier There you go, you can see how lovely that looks. So next stage is to get your rubbish out of it and to uh, keep your spaghetti squash seeds because air fried spaghetti squash seeds are amazing. If you check recipethis.com for spaghetti squash, you'll find not only this recipe, but you can also search for our air fried spaghetti squash seeds, which are also delicious. But of course, we're going to wait for them to cool down a bit before we actually separate them, ready for air frying. And there you go, there's the spaghetti squash halves done. Seeds to one side, ready for making some air fryer spaghetti, spaghetti squash seeds. And the seeds are absolutely delicious, just as good as the pumpkin ones and an absolute must try. So now Dominic's done his work, it's time for me to mess about with my spaghetti squash. So I absolutely love it and I just love the way that it goes into these lovely strands. 
you've not had spaghetti squash before then think of it as a low carb version of spaghetti because literally like this as you fork it it goes into these lovely strands that you can see and then same again for the other one and then i recommend a plate and then the bits that you've done you can load onto the plate and they can be your spaghetti so next time your family's having meatballs and you're thinking oh i can't because i can't eat sp proper spaghetti then know that instead what you can do is you can do this so of course it's a it's a game of patience because it does take quite a while to do it let me just show you how amazing it looks absolutely spot on it amazes me how much you get off one spaghetti squash you know like when i'm cooking with it i could easily do it where that i could share it with somebody else or i could have some for leftovers wow i'm really impressed with this so i've never finished these two but i've got to rush off to collect the kids from school so i'm just giving you the shortened version but if you think that i haven't quite finished them yet and that's how much spaghetti squash that we've got. I mean, that's genius, really. For something that's quite small, and they really didn't cost me much from the farmer, I just wish they were available in season for more of the year. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 